तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द मोबाइल ऐप इन कैपेसिटर इन आई कैपेसिटर टू इनेबल द ब्लूटूथ एंड टू कनेक्ट टू द ब्लूटूथ डिवाइस एंड आल्सो वी कैन डिसकनेक्ट आफ्टर कनेक्टिंग सो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट एंड डिसकनेक्ट टू द पर्टिकुलर ब्लूटूथ डिवाइस इट्स बेसिकली कनेक्ट एंड डिसकनेक्ट लो एनर्जी ब्लूटूथ डिवाइस सो लाइक स्मार्ट वॉच this type of uh, device is it able to connect so we'll see how which plug is required for this and first we'll see the demo of this app and then later we see the code so so let's check the demo first so friends uh, this is the this is the app basically and you can see a scan button here and bluetooth is enabled you can toggling the bluetooth by just enable disable the toggle button so by default the bluetooth is enabled so let's click the scan button and it's a scanning for the devices it's basically searching the low energy devices like a smart watch this type of de devices so you can see one device is found this is basically my smart watch and let's try to connect so finally it's connected you can see so let's click okay so now it's we can try to disconnect so it's going to disconnected as well so this is the way we can connect and disconnect and so sometimes it's time out uh, basically so we have to you, we have to check the device why this is disconnected uh, time is it saying time out so so let's check the code now so friends this is the plugin we have to install this in our capacitor app so you have to run this command basically npm install at the red capacitor community bluetooth le and after this you have to run npx capsync so after installing in our application capacitor application in ionic then we can write some code to achieve the functionality which i already discussed so let's check the code now so you can see there are we first import the ble client and bluetooth le from capacitor community bluetooth le plugin and we have some methods here so we, first we inside ng on init we just initialize the ble client and after initialization we just check is the bluetooth enabled or not if the bluetooth is enabled uh, so we have a method of ble client is enabled so it's returned basically true or false if it return to, if it returns true then we just uh, assign ble variable to true and otherwise it's false and this ble variable uh, used uh, to used inside toggle button as ng model so if it is true the toggle is checked otherwise it's unchecked so it will show the bluetooth enabled or not so it, it, we all do this inside ng on it when the app loads so on the app load we check is the bluetooth enabled or disabled by by using this and now we have a toggle method means uh, means when the check toggle button is checked the checked or unchecked this method is called and uh, we will check the ble variable because if it checked it's true ble variable and in this case we just call a method enable bluetooth and otherwise we call disable bluetooth so inside enable bluetooth we have ble client method enable and inside disable bluetooth we have ble client dot disable method so so according the toggle button checked and unchecked final method is called is this enable bluetooth and disable bluetooth based on ble variable so this is the way we can check in a bluetooth is enabled or not or manually we can enable and disable bluetooth now there is a method start scanning so you can see in the app there is a button a scan so when the scan button is clicked this method is called and we have a ble client request le scan device and we can add some property like allow duplicate false and after the promise after the result we will bind the the result inside devices array we already define a devices of type any 
uh, it's a array basically and we will push all the scanned devices inside this this array and this change detection is used basically to detect the changes on the ui sometimes it's not reflect on the ui so we call this method change detected method and a scanning is for 20 seconds for right now so after 20 seconds it is it's called the stop scanning method so a stop scanning method basically stop the li scan and the scan text is also changed to empty otherwise it's showing a scanning and after the device is found any devices found we just click we call the connect button of the particular devices and this connect method is called with device that particular device as a parameter and index of the array means in on which index that that device is stored inside devices array so we call the ble client connect method with and pass the device id as a parameter and after successful connection it returns the promise and uh, you can see uh, we just pass add a variable of device object uh, can, we add a new variable connects we add just a new property connection inside device property device object and we just bind, uh, bind inside devices uh, array so if the device connected the this property will be true and uh, they, when we call disconnect we also pass device and index as a parameter and we call just BLE client disconnect method and we pass device id of the particular device so and after the successful disconnection we just bind the connection property again to fast of the pro, pro, of the particular uh, device so it will show the connect button again and and also finally we call the detect changes to detect the changes on the ui sometimes this change is not reflected so this is the basically connect disconnect method we call this from ui and stop scanning start scanning enable bluetooth disable bluetooth this type of method are used basically so most important is you have to inst uh, import that plugin and install this plugin inside your application so and this is the html uh, you already see there is a toggle button and on changing the toggle ble method is called and do accordingly and and there is a button to start scanning here so on the button click to start a scanning method is called and some if some devices found we just bind the devices array here by its local name and if the connected if it's connected then it show the disconnect button otherwise it show the connect button so this is the code basically hope you like this if you like this please subscribe the channel like the video we'll back soon with some other videos